This is a sortie on the Finnish Dynamic War server in Isle 2. I'm flying the P-51D and I get ambushed three times, but I manage to get out with one kill. Throughout this video I will be using a voiceover to try and explain my thought process during these engagements. I'm taking off with two other P-51s. They are armed with bombs, and I am not, so I should be their escort. We are heading south to the front line. I normally fly Russian planes, which have larger caliber guns mounted on the nose of the aircraft. The P-51 is different. It has four 50 caliber machine guns that are armed on the wings, which makes aiming a little bit more difficult. We have now reached the front line. The two P-51s with bombs have dived down to attack the ground targets. They dropped their bombs and are currently firing at them with guns. I'm keeping my altitude so that I can dive down on any attackers, however I do not pay attention to what is behind me. My plane is hit and my pilot is shot. I have been ambushed, but I don't know from what and I don't know where from. I'm desperately looking around trying to find the attacker. I see here that it is an FW-190 D9 which is a very fast variant of the Fokkerwolf. Knowing this, I try and outturn him to evade. He's going too fast from a dive and tries to turn too quickly, which means that he loses control of his aircraft for a second. Knowing that he can outturn me, he starts to run away. German pilots use their plane's speed to their advantage by using boom and zoom tactics. This particular pilot has failed on his first pass and is running away now in order to go for a second. At this point I open my canopy to try and see better. I don't really know why, it didn't, it didn't do much, so I end up closing it again. Luckily the allies come in to help and they manage to ignite his engine. I survived the attack, but my plane and my pilot are very injured. I head back to base to repair. With my plane fully restored, I fly back out to the front line. This time, I am alone. I spot tracers firing at something from the ground. They are red, indicating that it is coming from an allied ground unit. I then spot yellow tracers, which indicate a German aircraft. Then I spot the German aircraft itself and prepare to dive on it. Just as I'm about to start my dive, I'm ambushed once again. I was not paying attention to my rear, and there was a second German who had snuck up on me. I'm now in the exact same situation I was in in my last flight, frantically trying to look for the attacker.
Hero Spotter, a BF-109. These are some considerations I will have during our upcoming battle. Our two aircraft are almost identical in speed. However, I have the advantage of more maneuverability. I also have the major advantage of a bubble canopy, which gives me far better visibility. The BF-109's canopy has many cockpit bars, making it easy to lo lose targets. However, the armament of the BF-109 is far greater than mine. It is also placed within the nose, making it far more accurate. A few hits from its 30mm cannon could destroy my aircraft completely. It is clear to me that the German aircraft is struggling to keep track of me, probably due to its poor rear visibility. It goes vertical, and at this point I believe it spots me, and it dives down and we merge. This here could have been a near fatal move. If it had hit one of its shots, I could have been killed instantly. I stall my aircraft, not having enough energy, and I lose track of him once again. I locate him, and it seems that he has kept the high ground. He dives down again for a pass, but cannot get his guns to bear. We do another pass here, both missing. One thing that I have to consider here is that in the initial strike my engine was damaged, so I have to be mindful of the state of my engine during this. Here I managed to take the high ground and sort of swoop in behind him and he doesn't see me, he starts to, to, to fly this way. I'm not sure if he's trying to escape or he just doesn't know where I am. I fire some shots here, I'm not intending to hit him, but I want him to... Uh, see the traces go by, and I'm hoping that he'll panic and turn, which will play into into my advantage of a of a better turn rate. And here he does pull a lot of G's here. The situation is looking quite bad for him. The the tables have been turned. He sort of loses control of his aircraft. There it looks like. and he stalls and heads back down and I try to follow once again he goes vertical and stalls again which seems to be a, a pattern with this particular pilot I lower my throttle a little bit, take a few shots, I miss. I'm now pulling extremely hard on the stick and I nearly lose control of my aircraft here. But I just about keep it. Once again goes up and I just about managed to line up my shots. Hit his fuselage and a bit of his wings. And from here he starts to go down. There he goes. Being very damaged, I reduce my throttle, my RPM down to its uh, its idle position, and I cruise back to, to home. But I don't make it back home. Whilst on the flight there, I'm ambushed for a third time. My plane are already damaged and my pilot hit severely this time, there is no chance of fighting this opponent.
I jerked my canopy and try to bail, but my pilot is so injured that he is struggling to get out of the cockpit. I'm just trying to maneuver so that I can survive long enough that my pilot can bail out of the aircraft. That's all for this video, thanks for watching.